Hi and welcome to today's video. We're going to show you some of our essentials when it comes to walking and training Molly. The things I use the most and I recommend others use the same. It's not always easy to train a dog from a wheelchair and I do struggle at times but I have trained Molly myself right from a puppy to now a qualified assistance dog. So today I'd like to share with you some essential pieces of our kit to show you how we work on a day to day basis. This is a grippy lead. I've used these with Molly since she was a year old and I consider it an essential piece of our kit. You know, they're the best leads out there in my opinion. They come with loops all the way along, if I show you. They've got loops all the way along so you never have to wrap the lead around your hand. You just adjust which loop you want for that particular length of lead and you get on with it. They're really, really high quality and durable. I know I've had one for two years now that I've used, not this one specifically, and it's shown no signs of wear and tear at all. It's got muddy, it's got wet, it's got dragged along the floor, and it's still in really good condition. This one is an eight loop grippy lead. I had this specially made for me, and I find this really useful because I've got a lead hook on the side of my wheelchair for Molly, and I hook that on each loop, and I can adjust which, which length I want her lead to be by which loop I put on the hook. So I can walk my hands free and not worry. And even if I do walk her by hand, I can just choose the loop I want and get on with it. And they're really, really value for money. I really, really think they are the best lead out there and I recommend them to anyone. This is a clicker. It's a generic clicker that you can buy on the internet. If I show you, it's just one of these little clickers. But Dog A, someone at Dog A makes them into this little handle. And I find that really useful because you can slide it onto your hand and click when you need to. Or for me, I slide it onto the armrest of my wheelchair and I can use it then. I can lean on it to click Molly when she does the right behaviour. Because that's the basics of clicker training. You mark the exact behaviour with a click so they know exactly what behaviour you want from them and which one is the right one. And then they know when you click, that means that a reward is coming for that they've been good. Another essential piece of our equipment is this ACME whistle. I have the 210 and a half whistle and I find it really, really useful because Molly has been trained that two short blows on the whistle means she's got to come back to me, that's her recall command, and one long blow means that I want her to lay down. So I've worked on that home, outside, getting her used to two short blows meaning come back so that I don't have to shout because if I shout I lose my voice. So obviously I don't want to lose my voice, so I don't want to shout. So the two blows on the whistle means that obviously Molly knows she needs to come back and she will come back. And I've worked really hard on that with her by myself just to teach her that two short blows on the whistle means come back, one long one means lay down. Another essential piece of equipment for any dog owner is the treat pouch. I had this one made by a friend, so it's custom made to my needs, but it has one big pocket in the middle so I put all the poo bags and everything like that in there, my treats, you know, all sorts of things like that, the, the target stick, the whistle, everything goes in there so that every, I've got everything on a daily basis. This clips over the armrest of my wheelchair so I can use it hands free, but you can get belt ones, you can get ones that you clip onto your belt, ones that are waist, go around your waist, you can get all sorts. So look out there for the right one that suits you. It might take, take trial and error, mine certainly did, I've been through quite a whole host of different treat pouches looking for the right one but finally the one my friend made for me works best for me so go out there look for the different treat pouches that will meet your needs what pockets you want how you want it to fit to you what you want from it go out and look and see what's out there ask for recommendations and find the right one for you another essential piece of our equipment is the dicky bag what do you do if you're in the middle of nowhere, your dog's down a poo, there's no poo bins and you've got to carry a poo bag everywhere? What do you do? You can't leave it on the floor. You don't really want to be carrying poo around and it's smelling. And this is where the dicky bag comes in. The dicky bag is a dedicated poo bag holder and it's got a scent in it. 
so it takes away the smell of the poo whilst also holding it so you're not holding it in your hand basically this can clip to your belt it can go over your shoulder clip to a bag I personally clip it on the back of my wheelchair so that my nurses or my mum doesn't have to carry the poo and it just takes the smell away and doesn't mean you don't have to carry a poo bag everywhere it also has a dedicated poo bag holder in it so you don't get caught short at all but I really really like this product they also do treat pouches one of which I have here which is an anti-spill treat pouch and this is also very useful I do use this on a daily basis so check out the dicky bags I'll put the description and the link in, in the description below and just check them out and see what you think Another essential piece of equipment is my target stick. This is obviously just a generic target stick. I got it on eBay. It collapses up and down. And uh, I taught Molly to touch the end, but also to follow it around. So she knows to touch the end with her nose, but also she will follow it. And I use it as an extension of my body. I'll show some videos in a minute of me using it to train Molly. So I can use it as an extension of my body. But if I can't reach what I'm doing, I can use the target stick for her to move around and, and follow it round so that she knows what to do. I find that really useful. As a wheelchair user, it is really difficult to train your own dog. So the target stick gives me that extra bit of arm length to teach Molly different tricks, even like getting her to walk behind me through a door. You know, I put the target stick behind me, she followed the target stick, whereas I could never have done that without the target stick, or I would have had to have help from someone else. So the target stick to me is another essential piece of my equipment, and I recommend them to everybody. You can get them all sorts of different ones online, on eBay, Amazon, on dog websites. It doesn't really matter what one you get, just choose the one that's right for you. But this one I got on eBay was probably the, is the best one I find. I've had different target sticks in the past, but this is the one I like the most. Finally, the last piece of my equipment that I consider essential is a toy squeaker. It might be a random piece of equipment you might think, and think, why has she got that? This I use to get Molly's attention when she's not paying attention. If she's not listening to the whistle or my voice, one squeak of this will get her back to me, get her attention back on me. I bought them online on eBay, that's where I got them. And uh, yeah, so I use these just when I need Molly to pay attention to me. And that's what I do and it does actually work. We hope you've enjoyed our video about our equipment that we use on a daily basis. You know, I hope it's been helpful and I hope you'll consider checking out the products, the links of which I will put in the, in the description. Thank you.